After riding on the wave of Poco F1 smartphone last year, Xiaomi went on to create more finished product for its consumer in the form of K20 series smartphones. Xiaomi launched the Redmi K20 with the Pro moniker in India today to take on OnePlus 7, Asus 6Z and more. This very same smartphone was launched in China a couple of months back. Cutting down to the chase, we have the device itself in the studio in flame red color ready for unboxing. Without further ado, let's do it. As you can see, this is the box. Upon opening the box, we have the SIM ejector, paper documents, hard plastic back case, Redmi K20 Pro smartphone, 18 watt charger along with the USB Type-C cable. The Indian SAR value for this device is 1.030 watts per kg for head and 0.720 watts per kg for the body. The Redmi K20 Pro comes with a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display that's free from any notches or punch holes. It has a 91.9% .9 screen to body ratio as well. The design of the device is clean and stylish and the 3D glass finish on the back gives it a distinct look. Both the rear and back are protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass Fry protection which of course is a confidence booster. The handset is not water resistant certified but there is a P2I nano coating for splash resistant. The right side of the device makes room for a volume rocker and a power button underneath it. The top of the device has a 3.5mm audio jack, a pop-up camera which houses a tiny notification LED light and a secondary microphone. The bottom side of the device houses a dedicated SIM slot, a USB Type-C port and a speaker grill. There is also an in-display fingerprint sensor which worked rather quickly and reliably during our short usage. Under the hood, the K20 Pro is running on Snapdragon 855 mobile platform and it can be configured up to 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Unfortunately, you can't expand the storage further as it lacks a microSD expansion slot on its dual nano SIM tray. The Redmi K20 Pro comes with a motorized tracing camera which houses a 20 megapixel frame shooter covered with a sapphire lens. Unlike other pop up cameras, the module lights up whenever the camera rises. In our red unit, it illuminates in red. The overall build of the K20 Pro is pretty solid and it feels more expensive than the POCO F1 that uses a polycarbonate back. Over at the rear, you'll find a triple camera setup that comes with a 14 megapixel camera with f1.75 aperture which uses a familiar Sony IMX586 sensor. The K20 Pro also gets a 13 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide angle camera as well as a 8 megapixel f2.4 telephoto unit that does a 2 into optical zoom. As for the software, it is based on Xiaomi's latest MIUI 10 which is heavily customized version of an Android 9 Pie. It is feature rich with a dark mode, navigation gesture, lots of animations, picture in picture mode and autofill support. The Redmi K20 Pro comes with a huge photos and image battery which supports 27 watts fast charging via bottom mounted USB type C port. However, Xiaomi ships it with only 18 watt charger. This is it guys for the unboxing. If you have any queries, comment in the section below and we will get to you as app. Before leaving, do hit the like button, share and subscribe.